Welcome to World Crab Logistic episode number 9. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to show you how to prep your pallets or build your pallet for Amazon FBA. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a measuring tape. This is for you to measure your, uh, your pallet after you build it or your shipment after you build it. Number two, uh, you're going to need a shrink wrap. So you could get this shrink wrap at any um, freight store or if there's no freight store near you, you could buy this online or you could even buy it on Amazon. So Amazon sell these. Okay. Number three, you are going to need uh, a four-way pallet. So this is going to be the pallet that you are going to need. You're going to need a four-way pallet. A four-way pallet means that the forklift is able to go on all four sides. So this is one the side and then if you go over here, you're going to see there's the other two pocket that the forklift could go into and a standard pallet is going to be a pallet that's going to be uh, 48 inch by 40 inch okay so this is what you're going to need for a pallet you're going to label your shipment with FBA label on each box right and you are going to shrink wrap it with a shrink wrap after you shrink wrap it you will need to measure it to make sure that it is uh, not over 72 inch. So right here we have 59 inch, so don't go over 72 inch. Your pallet is within Amazon requirement, 40 inch. And then we measure the side right here. It's going to be 48 inch. Okay. I think it's done. You shrink wrap everything, you measure it. And then in my episode uh, number eight, I talk about the carton weight. So if you have the carton weight, let's just say right here, let's just say if each carton was 20 kilo, each carton is 20 kilo, and you have a total of um, let's see, 12 carton, right? So 12 carton times 20 kilo is uh, 240 kilos. So Amazon required that your pallet is going to need to be under 1,500 pounds, right? Uh, if you don't have a big scale at home, you will have to do the math yourself. Uh, for us, we have a giant scale. But this is our scale. It's a typical, like a typical home scale. So here I am staying on the scale and it gives me, you know, the weight in pounds or in KGS. So now that you have all this information, number one, you have your, uh, your shipment weight. Uh, you use the measuring tape to measure your pallet, right? Now you're going to log into your seller central account and you're going to put in this information and then Amazon is going to generate another label. It's going to call the uh, pallet label. So after you shrink wrap, you need to put on a pallet label. There's two types of label when you do LTL shipment. There's the pallet label and then there's the FBA label, right? A lot of people get confused because there's FBA label here and there's FBA label here. Which one is the master carton label and which one is the, um, the pallet label? So the master carton label will have the quantity what's inside of each master carton box. And then the FBA label have nothing right here. It's completely blank. Okay, so that's how you separate the two. So this one, uh, MasterCard and label have the quantity go on the box, and then the pallet label go on the pallet itself. So let's just say if you have um, one pallet, then you will have four of these labels that you put on all four sides. If you have two pallets, then you have four of these label, pallet label put on four sides. So this is the bill of lading. The bill of lading is the final step for your Amazon shipment. So once your pallet is built, you know the weight and you have the dimension of the pallets. You're going to log into your Amazon account and you're going to input this information. Amazon is going to arrange it with a trucking company that they're going to use. And once the trucking company accepts, it's going, they're going to generate a bill of lading. So this is what it is. The bill of lading is saying that the shipment is going from Worldcraft Logistic going to a FBA location. Um, it's going to have the bill lading number right here. This right here is going to be generated by Amazon. You don't have to worry about it. The next one is Amazon PO ID number. This is also going to be generated by Amazon and this is also going to be generated by Amazon. So this three is going to be generated by Amazon. 
and they're going to tell you which carrier is going to pick up the shipment so this shipment is going to be read the way that's going to pick it up so if you have multiple shipment you if you use multiple lcl shipment going out or have multiple lcl shipment going out then you kind of want to give to the right trucker giving the wrong trucker is very bad so so this confirmed the trucker name right and then this is going to be paid by amazon that's why it's collect and then here's pretty much your shipment info 98 card 95 card in the weight uh ltl the class and um that they're going to need that to ship your shipment and lastly when the trucker pick it up you the shipper need to sign and date right here okay um and then the carrier the trucker need to sign and date right here so make sure that um uh, you have two copies one for the trucker and one for you when the truckers show up and once that, that you do that your shipment is pretty much completed i hope this video help you uh, build your pallets at home or build your pallet at own, your own warehouse for amazon ltl shipment uh, make sure to uh, have the pallet stay between the requirement of 40 by 48 by 72 inch under 1500 pound and um, once you have that you are good to go just have amazon schedule uh, Amazon um, LTL partner to come and pick it up and if you cannot do this at home and you need someone to do it for you we provide this service in our warehouse our warehouse provide this service so let's say if you have more than one pallet that you can't fit in your house you could bring more shipment here into our warehouse and you have to split to like three different four different locations that Amazon require you to send your shipment to our company will build the pallet and then separate it for you and weight the pallet and give you the name of the pallet and pretty much do all the labor work for you so I hope this video is helpful and if you have any question please leave the comment below and I'll be glad to answer them thank you